really. I didn't bring boots at all. Had I known it was like this, I would have brought boots just in case. I would have brought a sweatshirt. <laughs> I didn't bring that either. Hello and welcome back. If you saw the last video, thank you. Since we now have a new to us gladiator, we thought we should take out the JK one last time. For those of you who are new here, my name is David and we're located just outside of Phoenix, Arizona. Today we're going up north just a little bit to a town named Mayer. This is off State Route 69. Look at these views around every turn. You're looking at the Bradshaw Mountains, which are part of the Prescott National Forest. Did I mention, depending on what time of year you come, there could be a lot of small water crossings. This trailhead will take us from Mayer to Senator Road, the name of another nice trail, or Dirt Road. Anyway, once we hit Senator Road, we can take that into the town of Crown King. This is an old mining town located in the Bradshaw Mountains.
you can easily take Senator Road from Prescott all the way down to Crown King. Taking the trail from there can take around six hours. It's beautiful though. Senator Road is a pretty easy dirt road with just a couple of ruts here and there. By starting in Mayer, we cut our trail time in half. Coming up is the hardest spot of the whole trail. As long as you have some good clearance and a possible spotter, you should be fine. Just take it slow, be careful, and watch where you're going. This is where four low and using both the gas and the brake at the same time come in pretty handy. My wife Carmela is already on the other side of the water, thank God she didn't fall, filming from a different perspective. Let's see what it looks like from her view. Not too bad, honey. I should let you do this more often. Neither one of us expected to see snow up here. And we kind of forgot that the further you go up in elevation, yeah, the colder it gets. There was a lot of water, which meant a lot of puddles, which meant a lot of mud. We had a lot of fun though. We didn't get out of the Jeep too much, but we almost got stuck once or twice. Anyway, we also brought somebody else along. I don't know if you guys have met him yet. His name is Monty. He's a little over two years. He's a sheep -a doodle mix. We wanted to start taking him out onto the trails. I have a leash on him because if he sees a rabbit or anything, yeah, he's gone. This is the first time he's seeing snow. He doesn't know what to make of it. He does like chewing ice cubes though. So I'm thinking he'll like this. Don't eat the yellow snow. We forgot about having a wet dog get back into the Jeep. You know. The wet dog smell. This is definitely way more snow than I expected. Why did you snow a lot? A couple of days ago. Yeah, but not where we are. It was 80 degrees yesterday. And I forget that this is up in elevation. Okay, now you do not want to stop that. I just finished saying that, but that's exactly what happened. Okay, I'm going to put it in low. My luck. As soon as I mentioned stopping, we get stuck. Couldn't believe it. Good thing we have four-wheel drive. Well, soon we get past all this snow and start seeing the signs for Crown King. A little while later, we reached Crown King. There are a few ways to get here, but no matter what, no matter how you get here, make sure you check it out. They have a couple of restaurants, a museum, and definitely a lot of cool stuff.
Crown King is about 45 minutes from the nearest highway, which is I-17. The road out is a maintained dirt road, but can get pretty rough after a good rain. At times you may want to go faster, but please remember, it's still dirt, and this road does see a lot of traffic as well. Take your time, enjoy the scenery, and be extra careful around the switchbacks and blind turns. So with the new Gladiator build coming up, any suggestions on a name? What are your suggestions on a lift? Name brands and lift heights would be great. Please let me know in the comments. We kept the JK stock, knowing our ultimate goal was a Gladiator. This was a nice last trip for us with our JK. We went from down in the desert to up in the mountains. We even had plenty of creek crossings and even had to deal with some snow. You see, at off-road excitement we believe, it doesn't matter what you drive. A Toyota, a Land Rover, a Hummer, a Bronco, or a Jeep. If you enjoy biking or you enjoy hiking, just get outside, off the pavement, off the cement, and enjoy some off-road excitement.